Hi folks, Mikey Boy here, and we're back with Paletta. I figured out how to move this box using the strength spell. Boof. Boof. There we go, I can climb up there now, but I'm not going to do it yet because I didn't even explore all of the town. There's other people kicking around that I need to talk to, look. So, I'm going to do that first. I think I thought... Yeah, we... Yeah, okay, we talked to them. But there's a few others that's further down because, I, there's, look, it goes all the way down here. I didn't even go this far down. <laughs> but look, there's a cat. One of the shapeshifters decided to be a real jerk and thought, I'm going to scare all the mice and become a cat. Oh, are you trying to punch me? Oh, it's because I've got the... Okay. Aren't you worried about yourself? A tiny child like you? All alone? Stay with us. It's safer here. I'm being genuine right now, you know. It really is safe for you to be here. Hmm. Kindly. Ominously kindly. M magic? I don't have that. But I wish I did. Not a lot of people in this world can do magic. I wonder what makes it so rare. Hmm. Where are you, little dude? Oh, wait, no, sorry, that's the one I'd already talked to. Never mind, don't mind me, I think I talked to this dude before too. Yeah, the one that just says, I'm the rat man, and that's that's it, that's all he says. So, further dude, yeah, there we go. Haven't been this far down yet, see? You're going to have to look harder if you want to leave with the shard. The one with the shard is small. Smaller than you and me. Hmm. One of the mice then. One of the ones who's currently shapeshifted into a mouse, right? Then there's, look, look, there's graves out here. That's a little bit weird and ominous. You shouldn't leave yet. Nothing good happens outside of here. Stay a while and enjoy yourself, eh? Well, are we in Canada all of a sudden? No need to run away. It's scary out there for a child like you. Hmm, so we can't leave yet. That's evident. There's nothing over here. So now I guess we'll go hop up on the box over here. Now that I've finally been able to do that. Yes. Yes. Now, bloomed. Yay. Oh. How did you do that? I was going to just watch you try to find the shard, but I guess I have to help you now. My hint is... Uh... Um... Uh... Uh... Immortality is more fun with more lives? Nine? To be exact? Do you get it? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Do you get it? Because cats have nine lives, so I'm telling you to look for the person who's disguised as a cat. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you understand? The rat smiles awkwardly at you. <laughs> well, no, because now we know who it is. I, I thought when I was talking to the cat, genuinely wants me to stay in the town. Alright, buddy boo. Buddy boo. Give me the shirt. Okay, just stop. I don't want to talk about all this again. Yes. <laughs> Paletta, you found me. Hello there. My name is Ori. I'm the keeper of the Shard of Cool Tricks and Stuff. Or, I guess I uh, was the keeper. I'm happy to be parting with it, to be honest. I will miss everyone, but I feel like this is the right thing to do, you know? Thank you for playing with us. Yellow town is yellow again. Sleep! This spell grants you the ability to make mortals fall asleep. Press A while sleep is chosen to use the spell. It seems fitting that a town full of Shapeshifters disguised as mice that like cheese would end up being, of course, Yellow Town, right? Yeah, <laughs> kind of works, doesn't it? Speaking of magic, there's rumours that the blue and green town's inhabitants were originally the princess's childhood toys. 
She adored them so much that the king enchanted them for her with magic so that they could live and laugh alongside her. However, she must have grown tired of them eventually. Or perhaps they outgrew her. Either way, they left the palace and formed their own settlement. But now that the king is gone, how much longer will the spell on them hold? Poor things. Oh wow, that is really harsh beans. A town full of people made by the king's magic who are probably sitting there thinking, wonder when we're all gonna die. It's like Vivian FF9. Wondering how much longer before he stops moving. We had some fun times here. Wherever Ori is now. I hope it's fun too. Still just says that 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 guy's just having a whale of a time. I think maybe he's been disguised as a mouse for too long. I think it's gone to his head a little bit. He's gone a little bit cool. He's gone a little bit. Remember to be kind to others, okay? Yeah, always. You see, I've got a pink and yellow now on my like on my shirt dress. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's just the little touches. They're so. Oh man, you're still creepy. In fact, you might be even creepier in colour. I enjoy games. I don't enjoy cheese. I really miss the stew of Red Town. Oh, Red Town makes good stew, huh? Why'd Avi choose to be a cat anyway? The cats even like cheese, or...? Was he hoping we'd be more delicious? Yay! I just got shivers. Yeah, I was wondering why he was disguised as a cat, to be honest. It's a little bit creepy. I think he was just being mischievous. I, 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 I hope. I'm glad Ori got the chance to stay for a little longer. Oh, oh now you can actually see that all oh, this is cheese on the floor. I knew it was cheese anyway, but now that it's yellow, it just kind of re-emphasizes the fact for us. Yellow suits my current form a lot better. I dislike changing form often. I like being like this. So that's your original form. That's your original form. Yellow Slender Man style. Okay. Way to keep the kids away, I guess. Oof. Me? I'm not really an animal person. Rodents freak me out. <laughs> Hmm. Don't mind me. I may not have made up my mind yet, but it seems you sure have. Go get him, kid. Go get him, kid! Yeah, that's just the kind of moxie, moxious talk I needed to boost my confidence. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? Kind of, I think. Would have been a lot easier if you'd just given up the shard, you know, but... It's scary out there for shapeshifters like us, too. Just stay safe, okay? Everyone's so nice in this game, I mean... I can't even imagine there being any bad guys in this game, you know? Oh, I, oh, I think it's something else out too that I, I was told how to do, but I, I kind of totally forgot about it straight away. I can press D and I can go back to visit the moon. And... Great job, Paletta. I'm so proud of you. The next town is the blue and green town. But there's no hurry. Rest for a while? Alright, I'll just chill out here with my buds. Ah. Here's the yellow town. It might seem intimidating, but the people here are not evil. Just, just game players. They prefer to enjoy life to the fullest. Which is an attitude I agree with, but... Is this really the right time for games like these? Well, apparently it was, and we already won it, so... Hello there. Happy to see you again, Paletta. This is quite the place, eh? Ori, they sure seem joyful. But also shy? I'm happy to see that they are here, with the moon and me. I can't stop smiling. You're working so hard, Paletta. Keep going. It's just so nice to have this. It's just so... It's just such a feel-good game. Oh, it's just like... It's just... Oh man, I love it. I love it. And now I guess we're going to hover on to the next... Get out of my way. To the place. Oh, uh... Right, so I need to... I just need to... 
Bloom some flowers. These ones are harder to bloom because they're sort of scraggly and small. Oh wow, there's certainly... Oh, what the... A grave. Well, yeah, I was hoping for a little bit more information than that, but... I guess that's fine. Whoa, that's kind of... Can we go? No, I guess we have to follow the path. Oh, so it just keeps going to the left to the... Oh, that's all the ones on this. Why is there just... It just seems odd that there's graves dotted around. It doesn't seem like a graveyard. Oh. Okay, this place already seems a little bit weird. Let me just bloom the flowers first. Yay, okay, that's that done. So now I will go back to the top of D Town and start talking to what the fudge. They have the shards then, evidently. Let's start from the tippity top of the town and work our way down, shall we? We heard about you, oh yes! A child sent by the moon, collecting the shards? My, you look worn out! Stay for a while? I suppose I could. There's bun buns here. I like bun buns. Oh, hello, child. Are you the one collecting the shards? I didn't realize you were an actual child. <laughs> I thought they were just. I thought people were just being a little bit, you know, a <laughs> little bit patronizing. Yes, I am a child. Who is this? Are you a challenger? Welcome to our town. Yes, there's not that many of us. But there's a lot of flowers at least. These here are Sibali flowers. Pretty, eh? They're often found near bodies and graves and they spread very quickly. For such cute flowers, they prefer weird places to grow in. Yeah, no kidding. Well, aren't you just the chatty, chatty, chatty person? Are you here for the shards? I can't wait. Oh, but why? A visitor! A visitor! Are you here to try to cure Bree and Ree? Bree and Ree. Are they twins, perhaps? They look incredibly village of the damnedish. <laughs> Ooh. A child? Like the princess? We haven't seen many real children since she left us. Oh, that's right, they're her toys! I got even told it was the toys that she used to play with. I miss the princess. Princess Chroma was so kind. So sweet. Where did she go? Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I, I, can't, I can't help you there. Where are you going? It's not safe outside the town. Stay a while. Okay, so this is what happens. You get to a new place and then you can't go anywhere else until you've solved the problem. Hi, guys. Is this the child? Is this the kid? Have you come to take our shards? This is Re. This is Bree. We're ill. <laughs> In the mind. <laughs> Cure us and we will give you the shards. Oh gosh, they're both talking at the same time. It's got multicolored border. Oh, I can't do two voices at once. I ain't that good with my voice. Cure So how do I cure me, 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 me. Are you confused? We only ask for you to cure us from our illness. We cannot grow. We cannot live. These shards are our illness. And we need you to return us back to normal. They say that the moon sent you. If that's true, then surely you will be able to help us. Cure us and we will give you the shards. Right. I have no idea. Heh <laughs> heh. A cure! A cure! To cure them, you will need a handful of gold. Gold? Gold? I find gold. Cure them. I know that you will need a pint of shapeshifter's blood. Wait. 
will need to get some blood. How do I convince one of the shapeshifters to give me some blood? None of those here. I wonder where you can get something like that. What the? I don't think this is right. Oh, Paletta, dear. Listen to me for a second. I fear that these children's illness is not something you can cure. You might have to find some other way to get the shards. Things are taking a turn for the weird. I don't like it. Princess. Princess! Ah. Uh, Flutet Chroma. I miss you. This is an incredibly weird place and I don't like it. A cure! You need so many things. Oh, you better get started right away. You need soup that has been brewed for 30 moons to detach a shard. Yeah, they all have completely bull honky frickin' old wives tale methodology for getting these shards. How to cure Brian Ree? You'll require five different kinds of flowers. Remember to keep them fresh. Yeah, I think you're all wrong. To cure them, yeah. You might need a hand. It's so hard to do everything alone. I hope you find that hand. Okay, um... What the hell? I can't leave? Oh boy. I don't like not being able to leave. Can I go the other way? Boy, how do you know I can't? Oh, I don't like it. Ah, oh, I don't like being trapped here. It's weird. Yeah. What do I do? 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 Can I talk to these two weirdos again? Is it not possible? Have you already given up? Then maybe it's better you leave our town. If you cannot cure us, do not bother us. Can't leave now. Are you gonna let me leave? I really don't know how to. Oh shit, I can't. Oh man. Wait, maybe the little weird one that was doing a creepy laugh has more to say. No? Oh boy, this is. I don't know. Do I just have to keep talking to them? Nope, that's. Uh. Yeah. Maybe I need to go back to visit the moon and see if they've got anything interesting to tell me up here. Pauletta, I don't think that these villagers are being truthful with you. This doesn't seem right. I fear that you might be in danger. Yeah, I got that feeling too a little bit. Get the shards as quickly as you can and leave. Please? These twins don't seem okay. Back when I had the cool shard, everything seemed cool. Life was good, you know? I was filled with overwhelming happiness when happy things happened. It was a good feeling, but also scary now I think about it. Will you make your mind up? Flip-flopping between the two opinions. Maybe the shards are affecting those two, too? Overwhelming grief and fear? Huh. That isn't a good combo in my humble opinion. These twins are tricky. What do they actually want? See, after a shard has chosen you, you can't go back to normal anymore. Their bodies are basically dead. A cure? That's impossible. They must be after something else. Or maybe they just play tricks on anyone who comes asking for their shards. So we've encountered our first strange... Strange people. <laughs> well, everyone's been strange, but strange and possibly dangerous. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stop here for now. That's what we're going to do. I think I know what to do. I think I might need to put them to sleep. Since I got the sleep spell, and each spell helps you out on the next town long, so I think I might need to put them both to sleep and just maybe rip the shards out of them. <laughs> hey, once you've got the shards out of them, do they go up to where the moon is? Do they kind of... Are they released from the grief and fear? Do they actually go up there and like be kind of normal-ish? Oh, I guess we shall find out. Hope you're all enjoying this 
absolutely beautiful and brilliantly weird game. Don't forget to want the like button and also the subscribe button too. I've been Mikey Boy. I hope you have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night. We'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.